Well, should you kiss girls in the club or is it better to focus on pulling? I'm I'll let you guys go first because I, I have some mm-hmm. very interesting things. I think if you, if you kiss him in the club, you, if you kiss him in the club, you're giving him too much attention. Like if he, once you start kissing him, that's like the, either you got to start calling the check and making the move to bounce out or, you know, you're that's just a form of giving her free attention. And like, and you know, yeah. I'm fucking 38. I don't give a shit if a bitch gives a kiss to me, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'm trying to get some fucking pussy. So if they kiss you in the club, like it's almost like, it's almost a DHV for her. I mean, because I mean, it it is to an extent for you too, but you got to know how to play it. But I'm all about you know, as soon as I test that buying temperature is going up, it's for me. It's check, please. Let's go. Like it's time to close the deal. I'm not dealing with this. Yeah, I would say, uh, you know, just in general, um, you always want to see if a woman is sexually attracted to you. Period. So the thing is, I wouldn't be trying to take a chick out the club unless I kissed her first in the club to see if she's trying to even kiss me in the first place. So, so, you know, cause like you take her out the club without kissing her, she hasn't shown you any type of cooperation or compliance with being any type of form of sexual with you. Then you take her out the club and then you try to get her back to your place. And now she's like, Oh, I don't know. And all this other stuff. Now she could say that at any point, but what happens is if you see that she actually uh, wants to kiss you, that's at least going in the right direction. Because the thing is this, women will kiss you for attention, but women who are definitely not sexually attracted to you will never kiss you. You see what I'm saying? So that's, that's usually how it, it goes. It is a good litmus test for sure. Right. Um. So well, I, well, back to what MLD was saying, I would allow her to kiss me once. That's in the club, but I'm not going to, whenever I hear the pickup guy saying like, I made out with this girl like seven times, we were going to fuck, but her friend like shit on me. And I'm like, trust me, but she would tell her friend if she wanted to leave with you, she didn't want to leave with you. So remember we said before, compliance is above the belly button and then, or I'm sorry, compliance is below the belly button and attention is above the belly button. When she kisses you, it could mean like, well, Lucario said, if she's not going to kiss you, she's definitely not interested. When she kisses you, it could mean she wants to sleep with you, but also might mean, mean she doesn't. But the answer is, like you said before, you need compliance. She needs to leave with you from that venue to go to another place. She needs to actually move her ass, which is below the belly button, to a new place in compliance with what you what you want to say. Um, it's funny. So I was at a Bulzarian's house one time, and he asked the question to all of us. He goes, do you think it's worse for a dude to go try to kiss a girl and get rejected, or if he tries to put her hand on his dick and get rejected. And of course, all of us were like, no, Dan, that's you. You can get away with just grabbing random girls and putting their hands on your dick. We're going to go to fucking jail. So I started asking a bunch of girls and they agreed with Dan. They actually was like, it's worse to get rejected trying to go for a kiss and seeing her friend see it. Whereas like before, like I don't put the girl's hand on my dick. I'll put my put it on my leg, like middle of my leg and see if she goes there. But like, it's one of these things where the rest of the group can't see the rejection that goes on or whatever. So I thought, I thought it was interesting. I don't know if I necessarily agree with Dan, but I thought it was an interesting uh, an interesting uh, analogy that he made. Yeah, in, in a lot of like soul circle environments as well, you know, kissing a girl can actually lower your value. Right. It just yeah. like you come off try hard. You just come off like a fucking pickup dude. Right. And like PDA is untracked with a lot of people as well. So a lot of times, you know, you're, you might even be lowering like your perceived status in that environment. So I, I'm usually careful with that. The, I think the best way to figure out if a girl is, you know, into you is just fucking asking her and like kind of escalating verbally instead of physically. You think asking her is going to show you if she's interested? I disagree. Well, one of my like favorite, one of my favorite go to, you know, litmus tests is just straight up ask girls like, do you find me attractive? Do you want to go like figuring out her level of compliance verbally instead of physically? And I'm not against kissing a girl in the club, but it depends, yeah. right? Are, are you in a table with like fucking 80 hot girls and there's like some influencers there and, you know, they're very conservative in nature and it could actually lower your value? Or is it just you and a girl? If this is you and you and you're out and you don't give a fuck. It's just you and one chick. Then yeah, cool. Like make out there's not a big deal, right? And that's you know being a, it's gonna be a great fucking way to know that she's into you, right? But uh, there's other ways to go about it as well. Yeah, yeah. Just- I think I would I, w- I wouldn't ask for compliance, Justin, specifically about whether or not she likes me. But what I would say is, do you want to go to this next thing with me? 
that's what I would say. Do you want to leave here with me? That's like the ultimate form of compliance. But like you said before, like I host huge bikini competitions. If one girl groped me in front of the other girls, even if I was not attracted to her, it sends such a bad message. It's like, oh, I have to like fuck Michael Sartain to be in this competition. It's such a bad message that in those cases, what happens is I'm not going to, there's never, I'm never going to show any intent unless we're alone, but she can show intent to me. But the way I figure out whether or not she wants to show me intent is Let's go to the next thing. Let's do the next thing. Just to be as simple as like, I moved to a different part of the table. Does she follow me there? For me, it's more compliance. I'm just going to ask for some sort of like physical compliance. Um, and then and then it's going to lead a ladder that leads back to to my place. Yeah, I agree with you on that one for a thousand percent, Sartain. Like the like the, the, number one, the number one thing and the worst thing a woman can tell me is the word no. Like even when I go give me that towel, she's like, no, I'm like, all right, this bitch is on her way out. Like what's going on here? <laughs> but compliance is, is really like, it's huge. I know you're in the same vein with me, Lucario. I don't, I don't need a girl with an opinion. I'll give it to her. You know, like I want you doing what I say. Yeah. I just, I just think, I just think that, that you gotta, there has to be some, um, some physical because you need to see if she's actually about it. It's almost like, it's almost like if, uh, you know, you go to all you eat buffet, and your friend says, hey, you know, you should taste this food. And you're like, well, it looks good. I think I'll like it. But you're not going to know if you like it unless you taste it. So I feel like it's the same thing with women is that I need to see if you're actually going to do it. Because you can tell me anything you want. And then later on, and, and you really don't feel that way. But then later on, I wasted time with you now. And you're in my apartment. And now you don't want to do nothing. But I could have found out you didn't want to do nothing at the club. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how I look at it, where it's like, I feel like a lot of times you, you attract more attention whores, but I do agree what you were saying in, in, in your situation where you're kind of working with these women and you're around all these other people that you're, you know, you have some sort of um, relationship with. So you don't want to give the wrong idea in that context. So I, I definitely agree with that, with, with what you say, Michael, on that part. Yeah, Michael has way more to lose if he comes off looking like right. a creep. Not that he, not that he is at all, but, you know, if he, even if he yeah. appears that way, you know, it looks bad. But let, let's let's be specific. So I met my girlfriend here at this event. It's called uh, Swimsuit USA. We the first time we were like intimate or whatever, we went off to the beach by ourselves, just the two of us. I wasn't going to do it in front of everyone else because mm -hmm. that that doesn't give her a way out. But because we were alone, it was one of these things where instead of like trying to make out whether we went to a club beforehand, what I did instead was, hey, let's do you want to go to the beach with me? Well, she said yes. And it was just the two of us. In that case, now she's showing me compliance. And now that if I want to kiss her, then she doesn't have to worry about her. Her parents were on the strip, by the way. She doesn't have to worry about anybody seeing it or shaming her or judging her or anything like that. So for me, it's like, do you, will you comply to come to this other place where, you know, we can do things and not be judged by other people? Right. And see that yeah, right that right there is game because that's having yeah. social awareness, which a lot of, I think a lot of guys don't have. So social awareness is understanding the situation you're in and, and, and what's happening in that particular situation to get the best result. So if you were in that situation and you was like kissing up on her in front of everybody and my camera's going crazy, but if you was in that situation, kissing up on, kissing, you know, doing whatever, whatever he was doing in front of everybody, then the message is, Oh, you know, uh, he's this guy. So maybe if I try to do this with him or maybe I'm not going to, you know, work with him because he's this guy, you know what I'm saying? Versus even if you had the, you know, if you have the previous intentions, even if that wasn't what you thought, that's what, it, that's what they would have probably saw. But For if sure. you're this woman who's actually interested in you and you're interested in her, let's go over here by ourselves and have this situation. Just like when guys approach women at the club uh, in groups, sometimes the girl in the group that you want may want you also, but she doesn't want to show that in front of her friend. So then you pull it yes. to the side yeah. and say, hey, let's go over here to the corner. Let's be by ourselves so we can actually, you can like be comfortable to like, tell me how you really are and and do what you really want to do. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah and that, that's why I started teaching leadership and stuff. I started teaching leadership in the, like in 2020 because 2019 is when I went full blown with all the, you know, the live webinar coaching and, you know, teaching the guys. We had like a thousand plus guys the first year. But then I realized like a lot of these guys are gigantic pussies. Like you guys have to be okay with taking the lead. And, I, and then her compliance is the biggest biggest green flag because like when they like you and like they're in that kind of like you know that heated up that sexually preheated up state 
they will follow you into a stairwell. They will follow you into a fucking broom closet. They'll follow you into a bathroom if they like you. But they're not going to follow you if you don't lead them. And I think that's a big component missing is, you know, teaching these men that they have to lead and that that it needs to be part of their core personality moving forward as a man. I liked what you said earlier, MLD, about um, you said you were 30-something. You don't need her to kiss you to validate you in the club. Uh, even years back when I was going to the clubs a lot, um, as I was a little bit younger, I realized personally it was better for me to actually avoid kissing a woman at the club because the way I saw it, at least back then, was in a way it kind of builds sexual tension and it just became easier to take her back home. with. That was just my personal yeah no you're, you're 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 spot on if you're doing like the pickup like you know i'm trying to catch a woman in heat i'm trying to catch a woman hot hot and heavy right now like once you like when you kiss them you start like a ticking time bomb in my opinion right and it's so either you need to get her out of the club you need to isolate her in some place in the club you know fuck her in the stairwell fuck her in the bathroom whatever you know and this is more degenerate stuff. Like I know Sartanian guys like with with like you know, reputations can't be like sneaking off to like no, bro. It's, it's called the unisex bathroom. Of course you're correct, no. but it's called the unisex bathroom. All right, good, bathroom. good. Well, you know, because just know nobody needs suits. nobody needs to see shit. Nobody needs to know nothing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you just need plausible. De- no, no. We just uh, she she had a problem with her contact lens. That's that that's it, it needs to be plausible deniability. Yeah, I'm helping I, her I find her pronouns. I, I can imagine Michael sneaking off with a full tuxedo in like a charity event with a microphone by accident to a broom closet <laughs> banging some girl. Bro, I forgot to turn the microphone off one time. I forgot to turn the microphone off one time, bro. That was I bad. bet you. Wait, what? <laughs> tell, tell us the story. No, no, it's okay. It's all right. Hey, baby, what's going on? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I mean, also but that- yeah, but when they're when they're down... When they're super down, like, you know, like, I think kissing them really, it, it lights the fuse. But I think ultimately what Mr. Lucario said was, is true. It's like you, you, it is a litmus test. It is a situation where you're going to weed out the ultimate, you know, candidate or not. Are you down to have sex with me right now? here or within the next 30 minutes you know or or you just fucking around because i'm gonna find another girl who's not and because i'm i'm trying to save time too as well you know Mm. yeah and uh i just found well obviously every guy finds this but yeah you gotta kiss at the club great and then she goes away and then you don't see her again uh Mm. some some of the time or sometimes she comes back and then whatever the, the the nightclub is just so fucking chaotic you just lose the fucking rope on that one. So, uh, yeah, congratulations. You got you kissed like three girls at the club, but pulled a zero. <laughs> it's like that's the situation guys need to realize sometimes. In my case, in the nursing home, I learned how to sneak your Filipino nurse into one of the maintenance closets. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I have nothing to say about clubs. <laughs> I haven't been in a club Hilarious. in 30 uh 40 years, <laughs> I, I can't speak to it. 